today is running versus cycling. What's going to give a person a quicker weight loss transformation? That's a good question. It's a common question. And it's an easy question with an easy answer. Cycling versus running. What burns more fat? What burns more total calories? What can anyone do? Cycling is... Here's cycling for calorie burning and running's down down there. So you can't even see running and cycling's like way up here. Cycling owns running in terms of calorie burning, in terms of weight loss transformation, in terms of weight you can lose. Cycling owns running. Definitely, 100%. I mean, people know that's not true. For an example is I can get a 400 pound person and slap them on a bicycle. I can get a 500 pound person on a bicycle. Heck, I'm sure I could get a 600 pounder on a push bike and get them going. But a 600 pound person cannot run. They cannot run, they can't even jog. They're gonna to struggle to walk. But a bicycle supports your weight. A bicycle's virtually zero impact until you hit the tarmac. But you know what I mean? So you can get the heaviest person around and put them on a bike and they can go. They can turn the legs, they can ride to work or wherever, they can ride to the shop. But they can't walk or jog or run to the shop. So for weight loss transformation, for heavy people, cycling's the best, period, bar none. Nothing comes close to cycling. Nothing comes close to cycling at all. Nothing, nothing in the gym or whatever. Cycling is where it's at. Go ride your bike with your kids, ride your bike to the shop, ride your bike to work, explore your local neighborhood, you know, drop things in the letterboxes of people, whatever. Get on your bike and go. Have a good helmet, like something like that, that fits you properly. And I've done videos about bicycle fit, how to choose a good bike. I've done all those videos, look it up. Cycling tips, Duran Rider. So cycling versus running, man. Cycling owns it. Mm. 20 banana smoothie. Not 20 in here, it's probably maybe eight, eight bananas in here. Look at my other videos about raw food lifestyle, with a vegan lifestyle, high carb lifestyle. You wanna lose weight? High carb, low fat, vegan. Fruit's your friend, 100%. Flat stomach food. That's fruit, fucking oath. But anyway, so getting back on the weight loss transformations with cycling versus running, cycling's where it's at. To be a good runner, to run a lot, you have to take decades of running. I've got a friend, Mike Arnstein, he's like a vegan, fruitarian style guy, wins 100 mile marathons, ultra marathons, they call them ultra marathons. The dude's been running for like, I know, 20 years or something like that, literally 20 years. And so when people try and emulate what he does, <laughs> their shins are going to snap in half. If I try to do what Mike does, my shins would snap in half because I don't have the, the running uh, training like he has. So it's cycling, you can ramp it up pretty quickly. But running, well, I'm doing uh, four years. I've been running for now, four years. I can still only manage about 20, 22 kilometers a week maximum. Otherwise, I'm risking injury. So... Uh, you just got to creep it up so slowly, you know, over the years. It takes 10 years to be a good runner. And so um, in six years' time, I expect to be, you know, setting my ultimate, you know, potential PBs in six years' time. But right now, it's just getting out there having fun. But cycling, you can really whoosh, ramp it right up because it's no impact. You can go out for a six-hour bike ride. You can't go out for six... I can't go out for a six-hour run. I can go for a six-hour walk. Six-hour run? No way! No way! I won't be walking for weeks. But I can, I can run a marathon after, you know, years of training, but I can't do a six-hour run. Like, six-hour ride, I can do a six-hour ride with my eyes closed. I can, I can ride six hours a day for the rest of my life. It's not even that much of a struggle because, because cycling is zero impact. So, so if you've got your bicycle set up correctly by a qualified, experienced bicycle fit person, cycle fit, stuff like that, then you're going to be laughing. Best guy in Australia is called Steve Hogg. He's in Sydney. Best guy in Adelaide is Steve Nash. He's in Adelaide. So you want to have bicycle fit as priority. But cycling owns running. But running is better. If you only had five minutes a day to get fit, running's the best. Running's the best. But most people come to my channel for weight loss. So the best is cycling. And if you're already fit, if you're already really, really fit like myself, then five minutes of running a day is going to be better than five minutes cycling a day because running is just high impact, it's good for the bone density, gets everything moving really quickly. So... They're definitely cycling versus running. Cycling, man, you can, I can burn 20,000 calories in a big ride, in a one day ride. I can burn 20,000 calories in a 24 hour mountain bike race. I can only burn maybe 1,500, 2,000 calories maximum in a marathon. You know what I mean? That's, that's 2,000 versus 20,000. It's, it's crazy. I can do a three hour bike ride and come home feeling fresh and burn the same amount of calories as if I ran a marathon. 
because cycling is just no impact. So your, your legs don't really feel it. It's just heart and lungs. So you're shredding the calories. So the, and the key point is if you want to maintain the cycling lifestyle, you must put in high carbohydrate, high calorie, unlimited carbs. If you want to have unlimited fitness, unlimited well-being, unlimited vitality, unlimited regeneration, have unlimited carbohydrate calories, fruit being the best source, but failing that, if you can't get enough fruit, smash in your steamed potatoes, not the fried potatoes, steamed potatoes, steamed rice, not fried rice, not chicken rice, but vegan rice, rice and beans, but fruit, that's the fucking gold right here. I hope that answers that question. Cycling versus running, get rid of the running shoes, get on the bicycle, and maybe put the running shoes in the cupboard and bring it out in a couple of years' time. But cycling is where it's at. So post your comments down below, share your weight loss transformation experiences of cycling, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of these channels. Thanks for watching, I'll see you out in the road. Cheers, carb up, peace.